Hi friends, my name is Akil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial, I will show you how to create a link server in SQL. So this is my profile. I have 13 plus years of experience on Microsoft technologies. So the agenda of today's video tutorial is how to create a link server in SQL. So let's jump to the demo. I got a SQL Server 2019 instance with me on which I am going to create a link server to another SQL Server 2017 instance. So before going to create the link server, there is one thing that I just want to tell that if there is a possibility of using some other method to access the data from another server then you should use that you can use SSIS for example to connect to another server and you can if you want to for example copy data or pull data then you can use SSIS to fetch data from one server to another server because around 12 years ago when I created my first SSIS package so my work was to for example update the data from one server to another server so I was not aware that I can do that using SSIS so I created a link server and then created the update statement and then I scheduled it using a SQL agent job so I noticed that the SQL agent job used to fail couple of times in a week and it was giving me timeout errors so then I thought to use some other method and I came across using the SSIS package to do that so if you have the option to use SSIS then you can use the SSIS but sometimes if you don't have an option then we can use the link server anyhow so now let me show you where we can find the link server if there is already some link servers in our SQL server so if you go to the server objects and then there is an option linked server so you can expand this one so right now there is no link server here and now let me connect to the SQL Server 2017 instance and let me copy the name of the SQL Server instance from here because I might be using it in next steps so I can paste it here and now let me connect to the SQL Server 2017 instance so this is my 17 instance I got three databases on this instance there are two options to create the link server the first option is that you can use the GUI the second option is that you can use the SQL query so first I am going to create the link server using the GUI and then I will be using the SQL query to create the link server so to create a link server right click on the link servers click on new link server and now here you can give the SQL server instance name okay so I can copy the instance name from here so I want to connect to the SQL server 2017 instance so I copied the name here and under server type if you are trying to connect to the SQL server then you can select this option SQL server and then you can go to the security so here there are few options available so if you have a SQL login on the target SQL then that's the best option and you can select this one and then you can give the target SQL server username so my username is SA and then I can give the password as well for the target SQL user and then you can click OK so this will connect a link server which can connect to the target SQL server using the SA credential so if you expand the catalog so you can see that three databases are available here and if you want to query the objects on another database from here from the SQL Server 2019 instance then you can write a new query and then you can write select star from and then you need to give the link server name dot database name dot dbo dot emails so this is going to fetch the data from this emails table now I can execute the query so you can see that it selected 10,000 records from the target SQL Server 2017 instance okay so this is one of the method to create the link server using the GUI now if you want to create the link server using the SQL query so what you can do you can just generate the SQL script from here and I can also share this create link server statement with you so that you can use it in your environment there is one thing while creating the link server from the SQL query that this is the user SA but password this is not the actual password they have given just a random password here so if you execute for example this query let me just delete this link server yes and then execute this query so this will create a new link server using the SQL query so I can just refresh this link server and I can find this link server but the password this password is not correct so you need to manually set the password for this particular link server so you can just go to the security and then you can set the password here click ok so you can also just right click and test the connection so that test connection is succeeded so that's fine now there is one more option to create the link server so let me just delete this particular link server 
so using this method you can access the link server from any user which has the permissions on this particular server suppose if you want to create a link server for a specific local user then how you can do that click on new link server and then you can just give the name of the link server here select the sql user and then under security you need to click on add and then you can specify the local user for which you want to create the link server so for example i want to create the link server for this demo user and then under remote user you need to give the name of the remote user so for example my remote user on the target server is sa and then i need to give the password for that particular remote user and then you can click on ok so this has created a link server for the demo user only okay so this is giving this error but you can click yes so now for example from here if you will try to do a test connection so the test connection will fail because this link server is only for the demo user but right now i'm connected with the hp user so that's why this is giving me the errors but for example if i connect from the demo user then i should be able to access this particular link server so i can just connect with the demo user now so okay now i got connected with the demo user so i can go to the server objects link servers and if i do the task connection now so the task connection should be succeeded so you can see that the task connection to the link server is succeeded and i can access the objects from the databases so this is good and you can also generate the create link server script from here as well so if you right click and just do this one so this particular script has been generated and the local login you can see is the demo for which the link server is created and then the remote user is sa and this is the password so if you are going to create the link server using this query as well then you need to change the password later okay so i think that's it for today's video thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button do subscribe to our channel press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time i upload a new video thank you so much